All right, guys, we got some more Team USA practice. Here we go. We got one of the teams. I think this was the blue team in the last video I played. Doing a scrimmage against each other. So right now we got Cayman Sider with the ball up top. I don't know how long the quarters are. I don't know what the game is to. So enjoy it while it lasts. I'm, I'm not sure what to expect out of this one. And block there from Robinson. Here we go, Xander Blue has the ball up top. He's driving, gets to the rim. Nice move, got the score. A good, strong showing of athleticism there for Xander Blue. Pass over to Cayman Sider, who I believe might be playing the three in this offense. So a great opportunity for us to scout him playing out of his comfort zone. As Gus Fring, Cedric Collinsworth of the four and five. Flashy pass down low. Blocked from Cortez. There's the small forward Cortez playing bigger than his position. Again, blocking Gus Fring. But there's a rebound and a putback. Of Xander Blue. Xander with a couple of crosses. He's under the rim. Step back. Stolen from Woods. No, Blue picks it back up. And the shot is not there. Getting a good strong look at Xander Blue. He's looks like he's gonna be a ball hog. Just prepare yourself, GMs. He looks athletic. He looks like a ball hog. Cayman backing down Alfie. He's gonna put up a little hook and got it to fall. Here we go. Alessandro Carter. He's gonna bring the ball up this time. Again, like I said, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if there are quarters or if it's just unlimited I, I don't know what we're gonna see out of this scrimmage if it ends up being unlimited I'm just gonna play the scrimmage to 30 came and driving guarded heavy by Xander he puts it up no good got his own rebound the putbacks there came and can put the ball on the floor something I didn't see much of in college but man is he good on the floor Josh Robinson Kind of looking down on Otis Bush as he hovers in there for a layup. It's going to be interesting to see where Otis Bush lands. Nobody's talking about this guy. Upgrades his player quite a bit. Uh, everybody thought he was going to go number six to the Venom. And then the Venom ended up trading that pick. So now the next available spot for the Venom to pick somebody is going to be early in the second. I don't remember if they have a first, a second first rounder this year or not. Bush going to kick it out to Cedric. Cedric right back to Bush. Pick and roll. Bush driving. Heavily contested shot. Doesn't go. Robinson yoinks it down. Kick out. Xander Blue trying some alley-oop to Ray Cortez. That doesn't go. Here comes Kamen. Great ball handling from Cayman in this one. Otis back out to Gus. Pick and roll time now. Otis crossing over Cortez, and there's another block. Ray Cortez protecting the rim. Inbound to Woodson. Woodson looking like he might go back court. Last second stops, thankfully. So what we're going to do with these scrimmages is I'm going to try to write down and remember who already scrimmaged and then take them off the team and then do another scrimmage so you get new players constantly. I'm going to be emphasizing the AI and the most active user players. I'm going to get to everybody, but... The more active you are, the more likely you are to see yourself multiple times. Great block there from Cedric, and then grab the rebound. Game okay, forced to pick it up from Xander. He looks a little tired. Woodson goes up strong, and there's a block from Robinson. Cortez is going to get it to Alfie. Alfie, great bounce pass, but it's broken up. Picked up by Kamen. What's Kamen going to do here? He's going to go headstrong, demands the ball back from Cedric. 
Cayman with a jumper. That doesn't fall. Honestly, Cayman looks tired right now. Started out quick with great handles, and now he's just a little sloppy. Maybe some fatigue. Alessandro Carter going to pop a mid-range. Last second addition to this draft class. Alessandro Carter, the reason for the shakeup in the draft order. Cayman Sider was originally announced as the number three overall pick. Well, that looks like it is no more as the hoop stars have changed their minds. We'll no longer take Cayman at three, and we'll see who they end up going with. But everybody believes it's going to be Alessandro Carter. Xander Blue poked the ball up. Ball poked out by Gus Fring. Great defense there. Gus showing that he's got that lateral quickness to hang with the smaller players. This game does look like it's just going to be infinite, so what we're going to do is play to 30. See how this goes, depending on how long it takes. The next game, we might change the score up. I think 30 sounds like a nice solid number, though, for scouting purposes. Alessandro forced to pick it up by Otis, and then there's a miss. Otis dancing around. He's going to try an alley to Cedric, and that's broken up by Alessandro. Xander to Alfie. Alfie guarded by Woodson. They're going to get it back to Carter. Passing it around to everybody right now. Alfie gets it to Robinson, who throws it down. Dropping the hammer, ties it up. Woodson setting the ball up, takes a screen from Cedric, he loses it. Picked up by Otis. Not a lot of great ball handlers on this blue team. Otis crossing over at the rim, floats it up and whiffs it. Otis Bush, an unfortunate miss there. Ray Cortez driving right at Gus. Gus backs up, Cortez floats it and nailed it. Ray is so solid. You've seen him. He's guarding Gus Spring right now. He's playing the four again. I feel like Ray Cortez only ever plays out of position. He's back to playing out of position as he's lining up at the four against Gus Spring. That's a 7-3 center that Ray Cortez is matched up with. And you couldn't guess by looking at this performance. Kamen passing out of a wide open shot. Gus going to have to force it up. Here comes Xander Blue. Xander gets it to Alfie. Alfie guarded by Cayman. A couple of pumps and a travel. Woodson gets a breakaway layup. Now, you know, Woodson not known for his offense. I've got to say this, though. He always seems to get those open layups. So he's got to be doing something right. He's just got a knack for finding an opening. And there's a block from Gus under the rim. He's just slimy. Woodson is just a slimy player. And I don't mean like dirty or like mean. I just mean like slippery. Maybe that's a better word. I just envision he's just slowly moves around the court. People forget about him. Next thing you know, the pig gets loose, and he's at a breakaway layup situation. Xander Blue, he misses a wide-open three. Cayman matched up against Alessandro here. Let's see if he takes advantage of the size. And he gets to the rim, but misses. Remember, I'll say it again, a couple players playing out of position here. Cayman, normally a four. He's a seven-footer playing the three right now. Ray Cortez, six-foot-seven, playing the four, matched up against the seven-three center. I just feel like that needs to be noted. Cayman, attacking strong, got it. Has the size advantage there against Alessandro. And Xander tries to put it up, and there's Robinson just doing his job. 
Josh Robinson just a freak of nature at the center position. Him and Hancho, their rivalry might go down as the best rivalry the SBF has ever seen so far, and that is still not doing the rivalry justice. Alessandro wide open mid-range, just short. Unlike him to miss an open shot like that. And there's Otis is gonna find Cedric at a pick and roll. Everyone's starting to get tired here, so I'm thinking 30 might be a little... Yeah, you know what, maybe 30 is good because you're gonna have to watch them play through fatigue. Alfie gets blocked by Woodson, got his own rebound though. Kick back to Robinson who gets blocked by Cedric. Good defense there from the white team, but the hustle by blue, uh, no, good D by blue team, right? Do I have that right? Yeah. No, I don't know. We're moving on from that last play. Otis finding Cayman gets it stripped from Xander. One of the two teams will take possession. Looks like it's going to be blue squad. Otis hands it off to Gus. Gus going to step into a close shot. No good. Picked up by Kamen. Kamen, unselfish play there. He needs to take that one. What a great offensive showing that time from Kamen. Despite not slamming it home, you like to see a power forward who's not selfish with it. And then came and got that offensive rebound kick out. Just teammates didn't come through with him on that play. Robinson muscling his way for another slam. Here comes a pick and roll. Otis and Kamen. Otis crosses Carter out of the gym on that one. Beautiful handles by the pro comparison of John Stockton, I believe. I believe Otis is basically a John Stockton. Alfie kicks out to Xander. Xander driving right at Kamen. Good defense there. Cedric versus Robinson. That's the uh, center matchup that we all thought we were going to love to see this season. It ended up being Robinson and Hancho. But still, Cedric and Robinson, a good matchup. Kamen tries to lay it up on Carter. That one doesn't go. Alfie, corner, Xander, open three, no good. That is two open threes. Xander Blue is missed now. Pass out to Otis. Otis driving right at Alfie, kicks it back. Cedric, Cedric gonna put up a tough shot. That doesn't fall. Both these teams getting tired. Drops it down, Robinson, double team comes, Carter open three, that one goes. I believe that's Team White's first lead of the night. Spin move from Kamen under the rim, he puts it up and that's good. Carter gonna pop a two that one I don't know if he called bank that's a three refs did he call bank oh there are no refs it's lucky this is street ball great pick and roll from Otis and Kamen bad pass though Xander blue breaking it up Xander breakaway at the rim. He's going to lay it in. Team White now four points away from victory. Kamen going to give it a little spin and got it. Tough shot. There's Kamen. That's where he's the most gifted is when he's under the rim. Come 
Four points away for Team White. Six for Team Blue. Xander under the rim. Tough shot. Got it. Xander Blue is going to have an interesting draft experience. A small forward and a class full of athletic, talented small forwards. Same as like a Ross Bacchus and um, whatever balls first, the Clifton ball. Same thing for them because he, they're both big men in a class full of big men and there's the win for Team White. Alright guys. Catch you in the next one.